Greetings to you all, and welcome back to Let's Play Infinity for the Game Boy Color with me, Artega Omega, and my eternal quest for the North. I can walk over mud? Goblins? It's probably in my interest to see just how strong or weak goblins are. Stronger than slimes, at least. This guy doing a merry dance in the background. Very intimidating. If he knows how to dance, we've got to take him seriously. He's got quite good fire resistance, it seems. And about 25 hit points. I'm going to assume that's pretty good stat gain. I have no idea. So I can walk over mud. Does that change anything? Was there a path to the top left that I thought I couldn't take because of mud? You gotta excuse me lads, I'm out of here. I love that jump. It's hilarious. There is! There's a path! Okay. We're making progress. Hmm, start with the slime because it dies in two hits. One hit, I'm so strong. Fear me, I can kill the most basic of enemies. That's how well trained of a knight I am. You're all nothing to me. Wait, this looks like I can enter it. Aha! I'm gonna die. God damn it. Now where am I going to find a guide at this time of night? Morning. Day. Day. Stick with day. Joke's on you, I've improved my magic skills. Watch this. From being absolutely terrifying to being free experience. This might go north. I don't know. Let's have a look. Somebody's built stairs in this place. Good lord, that's a lot of enemies. Running doesn't do me any good. They move the same distance I do. Butcher them all. If things get really bad, I got my vervain. I'm really racking up the gold now. Nice buy treasure. That's what I'm here for, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, so my levels aren't fixed. I was I think I got the same thing two times in a row where I got three, two, one, three. Numbers have changed a little bit this time. I see I'm developing more into a strength-based powerhouse. I've fetch the vervain. Are you sure you won this? I just leveled up. Curse says it makes no difference to these guys. They still die in two hits. Agility's better, though. They're not getting any double turns anymore. Why 
wonder if I can drink this delicious spring water. I'm gonna jump over you. Take that. I never expect it. I just realised I have sub-tile movement. Look at this, I don't move a tile at a time. I move half a tile at a time. How fancy. That's an unexpected level of precision. Well, this cave is... Not quite what I was hoping for. I do believe my head has been disconnected from my body. Happy times. Okay, so just loaded back to where we were at the end of the first video. I'm back to being level 2. Now we realised we can't go north without a guide. I've got to be back to not being able to kill this guy, aren't I? That's disappointing. I wonder if he has exactly one hit point left. I'm going to risk it. I reckon he has 30 health. What do you reckon? God damn it. That's what I get for trying to be smart. I'm going to witness the fact that I need a guide, just in case it's a trigger somewhere for an event. I know we're back to the grand old guide hunt. I have a feeling I went everywhere in that cave. Gives me the distinct impression that that cave is for later. Just the way the water was set up in the final room, it looked very suspicious. There's nothing else here. No, there was another path in the cave. When I entered the cave, I immediately took a right. I could have taken a left. My death was completely preventable, by the way. I was just too greedy with my vervain. I'm assuming it's a potion. I've not used it yet. I don't know. It has to be, right? What else could it be? I'm scared. This is more like a fight that I like. Did you see that my fireball even has a little trail of smaller flames? I love the attention to detail in the animation. The monsters have idle frames. I do a little hop before I attack. Usually you'd just swing on the spot and they'd say that'll do. I really appreciate it. And if you're a bit newer to the world of gaming, you're probably looking at this going, what are these graphics? They're awful. But no, trust me. If a Game Boy game had come out looking like this back in the day, we would have lost our minds. I hope I don't run out of mana. My stat gains are different. Don't make me save load abuse in order to get the best stack gains. Oh, 
Oh, I'm now faster than them. Okay, that's useful to stop me getting one shot out of nowhere. Why is every player in this cave completely useless? I suppose my chance of fleeing has gone up because I have more agility now. I assume that's how it works. I'm still not more agile than a slime. But you know, it's improving. Now I do believe I've explored everywhere in this cave. And it's completely useless. So I'm back to my hunt for a guide. Which magic do I have left? Zero. As good as. I mean, I've got two technically, but what use is that? When my only spell costs four mana. Since I'm on my way back to town for another quick nap, we'll just get a bit more XP from these chaps while we're here. And then I might treat myself to a sharp. We've been eyeing it up for long enough. Faster at running, that's what really matters. I'm gonna talk to everyone in this town in case one of them happens to be a guide. You look kind of guideish. You're talking about the right area. I don't want a guard, I want a guy. What? Guy in green is a guide? You, green man. What if I kill him? I mean, I work for the king. Yes, and if you don't, you're selfish. You are, Ryan. What if I say please? You there, rich merchant man. I need your guide. But I need that money for shop. I don't even have that much money. Why on earth would I pay? My bed is literally next door. Okay, two choices. We can either farm monsters for gold, or we can go beg the king for some funding. But I don't think the king's going to be there. I went to the castle when I was looking for a guide, if you recall. And he just wasn't there, for some reason. I feel like the game is forcing me to grind. And I feel like I'm never going to get my shop. Fine. I shall hunt random beasts in the forest.
don't know why Ryan couldn't just do this himself if he wanted some money. Oh wait, he's a guide, not a fighter. That must be enough gold by now, right? What are we at? Perfect. Now why I didn't just run this guy through with a sword and then steal his guide, I don't know. I suppose I am a knight of the king, I probably shouldn't do things like that. I have your damn money. You. I own you now. Understood? In that case, Wolfman's probably quite injured already. At the very least, he can't see. Ryan, you need to watch your tongue. If you joined my party, do you have a sharp on you? I want it. Basic. You have a basic. Although it looks like sharp may be an arrow after all. In which case, I don't even want it. I'm not helping Ryan out, he can stick with his basic. Okay, Ryan, here's the first, most important lesson of working for me. Whenever we're in town, we sleep. Now you have to apolo accept my apologies for this, I only have one bed. So we're gonna have to team up here. We can't do it. I can't sleep while someone's watching, I'm sorry. To battle with us. We're not paying this charlatan for his bed. Show me what you've got, Ryan. You've got a lot of agility. Do you have an array of abilities? What on earth are these icons? Let's go with Red Circle. I'm gonna call that aim. It's your turn again, Ryan. Good lord, you are quick. Oh wait, it's got a name. It's in the bottom right. It's called Long Shot. And I got 16 of them. What's this? Oh, I got 16 mana. It costs mana to fire my bow. Okay. Tidal. Show me what Tidal does. I'm interested. You're stronger than me, aren't you, Ryan? You take two turns before I even get to move. I hadn't noticed the enemies, you'd already killed them both. This is a dangerous place. Cover me. They're so adorable! Oh, come on, we can't kill these things! Seriously, Ryan, can I have a turn? I know you want to show off. But I need to show you what I can do. Look at this, see? How's your melee damage? Okay. It's a bow, still. Ryan, help, I'm dying. That's it, Ryan. Send help. Good work. 
Can't be outdone, let me show you what I can do. Why am I so pathetic? Well, I'm not looking the healthiest. Let me get some vervain out. Oh, good lord, we gotta roll the dice on this one. It's the leaf, right? Wow, that's some powerful stuff. Let's flank him, Ryan. Good work, well tanked. How'd you miss a point blank range? I can see why I need a backup for this place, I never would have made it through. And you say there's a wolf man in here. That is frightening. Is that two goblins and a monkey? When did they form an alliance? We'll start with the goblins, because we know how strong they are. And they're not very strong, so... Thin the numbers. Curses as monkeys agile and strong. Good lord, they can't stop the monkey! I'm nearly out of mana already. Drown, monkey scum. Burn, monkey scum. This place is terrifying. Why is there another screen? Okay, we need more vervain. Nearly out. I can't fight three puppies, that's too many puppies. Let's run. Okay, he's good at running. Good heavens, a cave. Smart thinking. I mean, how could I possibly do that? I'm an honourable knight, I would never do that. I'm completely convinced. You are very persuasive. I would move this rock, but it is too strange. Instead, let's go loot the dead. That is the next most logical course of action. The slimes are coming for us, Ryan. The wolf is considering its next move. I skip my turn. I'm completely out of mana, yes? Yes. Okay, all in on this wolf. I feel like I need to get a level up in this place, or well, the next boss is going to be too difficult. So even if it looks foolish to take these fights, I feel like it's kind of required. The experience is so good. Corner leveled up, what about you, Ryan? No? You're already the best you can possibly be. What is your level? Already level 5. You outlevel me.
It's okay, I know what to do with this one. Observe and be impressed. Huzzah! I can kill something. In fact, you just take a rest, Ryan. I got this. Good chap. Why am I even paying you? Ooh, Verving. It's like a gift from the gods. I do believe that was a puppy dog I saw at the top there. Terrifying. Now then. Oh, I say, it's disappointing that the guards died, but it's nice that they managed to stash it all away neatly in chests before they did. Ooh. Why are you better equipped than me? I'm a sir. You are right, man. We did the right thing coming here. Oh, they had vervain. I don't think I've ever cared so much about finding potions in a game as this, and that's fantastic, can I just say. Usually you just end up with a massive stack of items and you never really use any of them. If only I had more G. Anything for you? Tunic is worse than leather. You had better armor than me all along, I should have taken it from you long ago. Alright, Ryan, let's move. I'm better equipped. That's frightening. I wonder if Mycella, Mycelia, Mushroom, will restore mana or not. Could be useful against the boss. What? There's a boss coming? Oh, I don't know, it's just a guess. I kind of want to test my new sword out. Please walk towards me. Thank you. I like it. Do I have a peace treaty going with the slimes or something? Oh no, there they go. Confirmed, new sword is good. Still think Ryan is the better character, given how nimble he is. Don't worry, Ryan, if you get into trouble, I'll give you some vervain. Good lord, it's a werewolf, wolf man. With a bad eye. Well, that's not very nice. Ryan, I like you. I don't like you when you're sassing me. But I like you now. Boss music time. Alright, let's check what we have in terms of stocks. Three vervain, one mushroom, no mana. Stepping forwards puts me in range of that werewolf, doesn't seem worth it. I think I just skipped turn. Although now I step up. I have enough mana for three casts, and good lord, he's huge! I'm gonna save my magic for the werewolf himself. We're gonna get slashing. Credit where it's due, that's an imposing looking boss. And it's not easy to make something look 
intimidating on the Game Boy. Let me just say. Now he's dancing back and forth. He's less intimidating. Get out of there, Ryan. It's not worth it. You let Con handle this. Change my mind. Drink, drink some leaf. Yes, my grasp of the English language is flawless. Did that vervain not work? What's going on? Buy me some time, Ryan. Ryan, that's not what I wanted. Run away, Ryan. Can I vervain a corpse? No, I can't. Then let's find out what a mushroom does. I'm sorry to have angered you, werewolf. Forgive me. I can't run. I can't gem. I have no mana. I have no items. Have at thee. At least the death message makes sense now with this use of the word them. Disappointing. Tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to load back my previous save. Just do it now. And I'm going to get back to that same point, just before the boss. But... That video will commence... Wait. That gameplay will commence in the next video. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I shall see you then.